You're still watching Ways. Now, World Thinking Day is a celebration of 10 million girls worldwide that has taken, that has taken place every 22nd of February since 1926. It remains a day for all guides and Girl Scouts to think of each other and celebrate their sisters all around the world. World Thinking Day remains one of the most important dates in the guiding calendar. It encourages members to think about the big issues affecting them and their global community. That's so good. <laughs> well, it's, um, I mean, it's, it's a good cause, but I'm just like, World Thinking Day, like, come on. You have to find a name for it. <laughs> you know, you're just thinking about, you know, uh, did you partake, partake in any of those um, girls? guide and all of that in school uh girls brigade yeah i did all that mm -hmm. i was like did you think matching. about them today <laughs> no that's what they're just reminding no, you no i haven't thought of them in years actually oh my okay yeah it's relevant yeah i just remember all the good causes <laughs> Good point. Okay, you nailed me there. Like, no escape. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Sansi, what did you find first? In, okay, in so um, I found a couple of things in the news and I was like struggling, which do I go for? But eventually, because I'm a young person and because it's something I find really, really interesting, I settled for and this one. Because you're still waiting for someone? Yeah, not really waiting, but I'm like, Mister, you better come along fast. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, right, in, in the news, uh, I found this in Punch newspaper. Uh, so on Instagram, there was a video, I think about a couple of days ago, that where um, veteran actor Peter Duchip was saying, telling young men that if you, any man, and I'm quoting him, any man who nails down to propose to a woman is not just a fool, but a bloody fool quoting him now and so fans i mean usually a lot of nigerians would support him but right now this one a lot of people are saying no you, this is toxic masculinity like what is wrong with did your husband kneel down to propose to you no really but, no but see i i get the sense of what he's trying to say the truth is honestly this is actually something foreign yeah we we might we might love it we, but this is not hold who... on let me tell you his reason okay tell me so he goes on to say that his reason is because especially in foreign cultures when you kneel down to propose to a woman that means the woman is taking over your home mm. well, that's, that's not good so that's why in western cultures once there is a divorce she moves on with everything i'm like I, i'm sorry i'm putting one and two together it doesn't quite add up mm. But let me hear what I have I other think, things I to think, say, but let me hear I you. think he's still a cake in his thinking, if, he's that, if that is his, his explanation. Yeah. But the only part of me I see in a lot of all of these things, because mm. all, I mean, when you go on social media, there's hardly a day that goes by that you don't see people doing the grand proposal, putting yeah. roses on the floor and, and kneeling it's down. Cute. It's good. It's a new culture for us because mm -hmm. we are, we're Africans. We really don't do all of those things. Right. Mm -hmm. Worst case scenario, under the mango tree. <laughs> you know, you know those kind of that's who we are. You know, yeah. so we will go under the mango tree, we would hold hands, you know, I love you, I want to get married to you. But that that act of going on one knee, mm. you know, is a foreign thing to us. But look at it, Ua. <laughs> I know I'm not married, but I think I, of course you know I'm always inquisitive about marriage and stuff. When 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 you're asking a woman to marry you. We look at it, Nathaniel Bassi said something about it the other time. When you're asking a woman to marry, you're not looking at it from the angle that, um, um, sorry, we should look at it from the angle that the woman is giving up everything. The woman is the person doing you a favor. So I absolutely think. Really? Yes, the I woman don't agree is with the. That. But the, uh, in Africa, we look at it like you're doing the man a favor by. No, the woman makes all the sacrifices. She gives up her name. She gives up no, her identity. She And I'm not saying it in a bad way like I women are making. I understand what you're saying. Also, final point before, before you. Before you um, coming now i'm oh goodness i forgot what i was going to say but i'll remember it go on you know well let, let's leave it there but the truth is i don't agree with nothing when we're mm -hmm. going into a marriage it is everybody sacrificing something i don't believe it's one party sacrificing more mm -hmm. than the other party that's what i was going to say so my story because right. i had quite a lot of stories and i think i'll take some tomorrow okay. but um what struck me was um the lecturer um that was accused of raping um, someone seeking admission. Mm -hmm. um, he was accused of raping the 18-year-old girl. Right. He's been sentenced by a high court in Ikeja. He's been sentenced to 21 years imprisonment. You know, this is good news for us because, mm -hmm. you know, most times when we hear cases of, of this 
kinds of things that we don't follow up on all of that but immediately i read the story the Uniland lecturer that the ex Uniland lecturer mm -hmm. immediately i read the story i i called up lamy you know i said okay yeah. from a legal perspective can he appeal this sentence and she said of course that every criminal sentence and i mean every criminal case you have the right to go to the supreme court so i'm hoping that if he eventually probably appeals this um sentence mm -hmm. the supreme court would probably uphold the judgment because I mean, rape is not something. Is, is a big of is a huge offense. Nothing to tolerate. Mm -hmm. Rape is nothing. Absolutely. We can't even we can't even mix words. An eighteen year old. And I think girl. that if there are sentences that should be merciless, rape should be one of it, and um, murder. Yeah. So because that is a huge rape is such a crime that you don't die but you live with it forever for the rest of, of your, your life. life. And remember the day we talked about abuse and yeah. all that. It, it's you you can forgive, you can heal, but the scar stays with you forever. So why inflict that pain? I'm I'm, I'm sorry, you should pay for it. Yeah, and the justice, I, I just got her name now, just um, Justice Josephine Oyefeso. She said um, this sentence is going to serve as a deterrent mm -hmm. to other people because this crime for her she, she described the crime as heinous and she said this will serve as a deterrent but i don't think you know sentences like this actually you know stops people 21 years in i don't prison? know i don't know because I you think, still have people rape people tomorrow you know i think here is what i i think sentences like this are enough to stop people if if we are we are uh, strong on implementation the challenge is most people walk free because you don't have um would I say proper um, investigators or detectives that will figure out a case? Most times it's just to the police station. Ah, have you had a shower? Yes, ah, that is the case. But I watch law and other special victims um, unit, and I've seen how even after you've had a bath and all that, they how they can get, go the extra mile yeah, to get facts and evidences, and evidences to you, you know take you to court. Mm. I think the, I think it's not just the sentences. Mm. that would that would serve as a deterrent now we are talking about it mm -hmm. so let the media continue to push it out we right. have a huge role in the media to play mm -hmm. push out the right information so we keep uh, sounding it in the ears of people so people you know their rights yes. and what they should uh, yes do. so when we now have more people making noise about it mm -hmm. that might now eventually you know serve as a deterrent as well i agree all right so that's all we can take on what's in the news tiwala day Adeni joins us right after the break. Please stay with us.